Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here, owner of Automation Links. Today, I wanna to show you how to integrate SamCart payment links in your website. Now, a lot of times, SamCart wants you to just use their checkout pages, which is great. But what if you have a branded website and you wanna make sales and allow people to purchase right on your website? This video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to set up the checkout page in SamCart, how to generate an iframe to put it on your website, what our highest converting landing page looks like, where we've made over a million dollars in sales for our clients every single month, and then what follow-up technique you should put in place for things like abandoned cart and email follow-up. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Every week I share frameworks like this to help you increase sales for your business. So let's jump right in. All right, so I always like to start like this with a framework for us to follow, and you can have this framework if you stick with me to the end, I will show you exactly where to get this link, where you can get all of my tips and information about doing this on your own. And of course, if you have a SAM card account, please leave a comment below my video. I'd appreciate that very much. And if you don't, make sure you click my SAM card affiliate link to get 14 days on this amazing checkout process. This has been the software we've used for the last six years to capture all of our payments on the site. So starting out, this is what the SAM card dashboard looks like. This is one of our um, done for you marketing programs where we set up the, the website, the landing page, the Google and Facebook ads, and even the email marketing. All right, so right now, just got a normal product, $5,000 a month um, for three months. That's great. So how do we design this? So in the checkout design, we always choose the multi-step. The reason we choose the multi-step is to get abandoned carts because you know just like e-commerce, for appointment, lead-based, or membership type business, you should always be capturing the abandoned carts. Somebody might have questions, so you can reach out, ask them if they have any other questions, schedule a follow-up call, and they're more likely to become a client. All right, once you choose multi-step and you scroll down here, you'll be able to you know, design that any way you want. So this is what ours looks like here. Pretty simple, uh, first name, last name, email and phone. We're gonna go into address. I always recommend asking for an address just in case there's ever a dispute in the future. The number one thing Stripe looks for, or PayPal looks for, is that you have their billing address. So you want to make sure you get their address and zip code on this page. All right, so they made it to this. They can choose from a monthly option or they save if they pay up front. Uh, and this is all on SAM card. All right, so what we need to do first, set up the multi-step. I always recommend giving them the two options to make sure that you know, a lot of people like to pay monthly or some people like to save by paying in full. So give them options, give them upsell opportunities. We were able to scale our company by not only adding these two options, but then also adding a blog add-on that you can do right here in the SAM cart editor. You can add an upsell and allow them to purchase an add-on for whatever goes with this product. All right, good stuff. That's the add-on products. All right, step number two, I wanna review how to put it in your website. First of all, if you have a WordPress site, there's a plugin called iFrame Generator. Second of all, if you use a different site out there, there's sections that you can add that are HTML. And what I'm gonna show you is a HTML iFrame Generator that you can put in for free and put it in your website, the checkout link. I'm also gonna show you some examples on how we optimize our conversions and get more sales. I always recommend putting a video on your checkout page and making it look as close to Amazon as you can. People know, like, and trust Amazon, so you wanna do the same thing for your website, something that's relatable, that they've seen before, Make add reviews, add videos, add images, give them as much info as they can. If you think about an Amazon page, they have the, vid the pictures, they have the reviews, they have the FAQs, and they have all the descriptions. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, so this is the iframe generator. I recommend just a free uh, plugin or website here, just iframe-generator.com. I'll put this in the links below this video if you wanna check it out. So basically what you're gonna start is with a fresh page like this, and you're gonna go and you're gonna grab that URL from your SAM card page. So go ahead and copy that, head over to the iframe generator and paste it in here. Now what's cool is you can set up different widths, um, different heights, you can name it so you can save it and come back and reference it below. And then pretty much all you have to do is hit generate. And what that's gonna do is spit out this nice HTML code that you can put in your site. So then what I do is I copy that, I go to my website editor here and I have a section. So right now I've got it set here, 
But as you can see, like I spoke about, set it up as close to Amazon as you can. We have the sidebar, the video, and the product. So I'm gonna just drag and drop a HTML widget in here, and every site's different. Um, usually WordPress has a similar function. And we're gonna paste that code that we just grabbed from the iframe generator. We're gonna update it, and you're gonna see we now have SAMCart embedded in the website. Super easy, super easy to do. Um, depending on your editor, you can move this around to center it, or you can make sure it's, it's front and center. All right, so let's see how that looks. So let's preview this. We're gonna go down to my our page. I've got a video explaining exactly what they'll receive. And then I have my form here and you'll see it's all set up in the site. And perfect. Now it's got my branding. They're in my website. They never had to leave. This is what really increased sales and conversions for our company. And I highly recommend you do it for yours. All right, last but not least, what to do after it's embedded in the Sam Cart page. So like I mentioned, I recommend adding videos and descriptions, FAQs to your sales funnels and your pages on your website. Um, make sure you get it that embedded. Give them two different options, pay in full, pay monthly. Make sure you have add-on products in there so that are relatable to what they're buying because that will really increase your average order value. We've had a business that was averaging about $100 per order. We switched things, we got them on SamCart, and now they're averaging about $300 per order. So it really works by adding relatable products that people can just add on. After you have your checkout page, you wanna make sure you have your abandoned cart set up and any email flows so you can stay in touch. Let's check that out. All right, so when you're back in your checkout page, you wanna navigate over to integrations here. So what we have is we have HubSpot connected as an integration, and if on purchase, we send them to the clients list. Now you can find that here in the settings, integrations, and you'll see we have Zapier and HubSpot connected. Depending on your integration, you can choose from their, all their choices here. If your software is not on this list, then you can go ahead and connect Zapier and get that all connected. Now that's gonna be great for you for the follow-up. Any new purchases, you wanna make sure they go on the client list so you can follow up. Now what you also wanna do is make sure your cart abandonment set up. And you can see we've had three pe two people here abandon our cart. I can send them a personal email, ask them if they need any help and follow up with them. And if not, that's totally fine, but they probably had questions. We can schedule a call and I can get them signed up. So if you have any questions about how to use SamCart or need any help setting the iframe generator up, you can grab the links um, and the checklist down below in the description. And if you don't have SamCart yet, uh, I'll include my SamCart affiliate link so you can get a 14 day trial. And that's pretty much it for me. I hope this brought you a ton of value. I hope it helped you. I want you to Integrate SamCart in your website so your business just looks super clean, on brand and on point. Make it easy for people to check out. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll keep posting tips and videos just like this. And of course, I always appreciate it if you use my affiliate link for any of the software we recommend. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.